people. I think we can breed plants, we can modify plants and move them in directions such as make them more resistant to drought. So for example, as climate change comes along and continues, we know that this is going to lead to more extreme weather patterns, not always just hotter temperatures, but in some cases drier, in some cases actually wetter. And so plant breeders and plant scientists are really beginning to understand what the genes are and, and especially what the variation in the genes are that will help us to shift the plant to become more drought resistant. One of the, the greatest things that has happened in the last 10 or 20 years in plant breeding isn't so much about the actual physical breeding part out in the field and, and then observing out in the field, but understanding all the DNA, all of the, the genes and the variation in them. There's about 2.4 billion letters in the genetic alphabet in corn. There's about a little over 1 billion letters in the alphabet of canola. But if you take plants from one part of the country and plants from the other part of the country or from other parts of the world and compare their DNA, those 2.4 billion or that 1 billion, you're gonna find thousands and thousands uh, of differences in the DNA between them. And amongst all those differences, those thousands of differences uh, is the key to being able to shift plants, to breed plants, to be more resistant to drought or to be able to take more, uh, more, more flooding or rainfall or salinity and so on. So using advances in data science, using computational advances, we've really gotten better at making the connection between those variations and then what we observe in the field. Because we know that there are some plants that are just better at growing in drought. Um, and so what we've been able to do in the last 20 years, especially start to understand at the genetic level, at the DNA level, what is accounting for that difference. And then we can breed more smartly and then we can start to use new tools like gene editing to actually create that desirable variation.